coming face to face with your local immigration for interview can be very, very intimidating. Yes. So today, I'll be giving you tips on how to pass your immigration interview. And um, I'll be talking about refugee. What is refugee? A lot of us don't know what is refugee. So today, follow me. I'll give you the tips. If you've just come across this video for the first time, please kindly subscribe. Um, what is um, refugee? Refugee is a situation where you left your country of origin and to your country of destination. On your arrival, you go to United Nations and claim what what. When I say claiming what what, it depends on what you claim. Now, getting to United Nations, you said you need protection. Protection means there's a war in your country. Protection means that you have a political problems. Yes, and um, I, I want to take this further. A lot of us come to, uh, when we arrive in our, from our country of destination, we claim to tell the story that not relevant, which is not acceptable by United Nations. Yes, don't come to United Nations and tell them your uncle want to kill you. Don't come to United Nations and tell them that, hey, uh, my father have a lot of money, he left the money for me, one of my uncle want to kill me, I'm the first son, and etc. They only want to hear about political problems. They want to hear about um, war in your country. But if you're telling me you have a domestic problem and you come to United Nations, you are not going to get, you are, going, you are not going to pass your interview. So today, I'll be giving you a tip, okay? Um, when you arrive, before you are come, before you move out of your country, make sure that you have all documents that will be backed up. If you want to claim that, okay, I was a counselor and uh, you have problem with this political party and they want to kill me, make sure you have documents. If there's a, an ethnic fighting in your community, you need to have document or police report to back up. Guys, I hope you're getting me right. So this is the reason why a lot of us who come from Africa fail our immigration interview. So, as I was saying, a lot of us don't even know what is refugee status. You see, for you to pass the interview, you have to have a strong claim of what exactly happened to you, where you're coming from. Like I said, you got to get evidence, pictures, etc. And like I said before, immigration interview can be very, very intimidating. You spend three, four hours, they'll be asking questions and questions. And don't forget, I'm going to give you the tip, but let me just clarify you what is a refugee. When you got a statue from refugee, this is what happened. They gave you an ID and passports of United Nations. And these passports of United Nations overrule every passport of the world. Yes. Let's, for example, they give you a United Nations passport in Canada. You want to go to United States. You don't need a United States passport. You don't need United States permit. You don't need United States anything. All you got to do when you get to United States, you can use that international passport to work. I call it international because it's United Nations, because it rules every country. But for you to get that passport, it's not easy. And secondly, you cannot go back to your country of origin with this passport, never. It's forbidden. Once you get this passport, you have to stay within any other country in the world that you want to be. But there's a lot of branches on this topic, but I, I'm just gonna go straight. If you want to know more about this, you drop a comment below. I will do what? I will educate you more in private. Because there are a lot of things that I don't have to be saying here. Yes. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. Five tips. What you must do when you get to a job interview. So follow me. So, as I was saying, um, when you come for asylum in any United Nations um, 
office, what you do is they give you three to four years before they call you for interview. You see, when they call you for interview, one thing you must know is this, be very confident. Okay, now I'm in my room, so I should be able to remove this. Yeah, thank you. So you should be able to have confidence, believe in yourself, and make sure you dress very nicely. If you have a tattoo, please cover up. Don't wear short knicker. Don't wear short. You have to dress corporate as if you're going for job interview. You see, I said it before, like, it, it's like a job interview. So come with me um, you have to treat immigration officer, officials with the utmost respect As address the officers with sir, ma, yes, no yes, sir because they say in exam even your handwriting alone in exam can give you a mark right? be professional Continue in the same vein as being respectful, as professional. Dress professional, like I said before. Just, it's just as you're going for a job interview. And make sure you are not panicked. Don't get, don't be panicked. I've been there. I've been there severally. So, and uh, they say, like I said before, it requires a lot of documents. Bring along with your required document, original satisfied copy of all the necessary requires uh, documentation. But I told you guys, if you want to claim that there's a war, somebody they kill one, some they kill somebody, and somebody is after your life. There must be a police report, and you must have your police report while you are coming to that country. A lot of our friends, a lot of our brothers, don't give us these tips. Honestly, they don't give us these tips. And it's very important when you want to come and claim asylum in another country, think what you want to say. Don't come to say my father want to kill me or my uncle. They don't want to hear all this bullshit. Under United Nations law, it's not allowed. Except inter-ethnic fighting that they are killing people. And listen, when you come, they are going to tell you, okay, you are from... Lagos, Nigeria, and the uh, Lagos, they are fighting in Lagos. Why don't you go to Abuja and stay? Why don't you go to Port Harcourt and stay? They will mention states that you, you, you don't even know as a citizen of that country. So you have to be very clever. The reason why you don't go there. Now, when they're asking you, why did you come to my country? You got to tell them because your country is safe. I believe this is where your country is safe. That is all. There's nothing much to talk about. And uh, you have to bring an attorney. You have to bring a lawyer. So a lawyer will guide you on what uh, to say. You know, don't go alone. Don't be selfish. So, guys, I hope um, this will help you in future or present if you are traveling out of the country. Um, this is the tip you must know before leaving. It's very 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 important three hours question is not easy and make sure when they're asking questions if you are tired just tell them hey I'm bored I want to rest you go drink water drink coffee refresh yourself for 10 20 minutes come back but must be very very smart because you are talking to intellectuals they are immigrations they are trained to find out you are telling lies or not so if you, if you are telling lies, if you are smart, you will outcome them with your documentation. So t thank you guys. This is all I got to give you from my YouTube channel today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please kindly just subscribe. It's free of charge. Drop a comment and make sure you press the icon bell. Thank you. God bless you. See you. Solomon Okereke Vlog.